Meanwhile, Portugal will continue their World Cup tomorrow against Switzerland with the future of their captain, Cristiano Ronaldo, still under much scrutiny. Adama Schiff is scrutinising it for us. Difficult to say, actually, scrutiny and chef. Anyway, hi. <laughs> uh, welcome along. Uh, what can you tell us? Yeah, look, this one looks like it's moving a little bit more quickly now. If you mm -hmm. go back 13 days, so less than two weeks ago, that was when Manchester United mutually terminated Cristiano Ronaldo's contract. They said at the time they didn't want it bleeding over into Portugal's World Cup campaign. And that is exactly what's happened since then. Our colleague Gary Cottrell has said that Cristiano Ronaldo's likely destination is going to be Saudi Arabia, where he will be an ambassador for Saudi Arabian football as well. Now, you remember in that interview with Piers Morgan, Cristiano Ronaldo said that he had an offer during the summer from Saudi Arabia. I was since told that Manchester United would have accepted that offer, which was worth around £300 million in total. But it was Cristiano Ronaldo who decided against taking up that offer. Since then, and in the last 24 hours, there were reports emerging that the club now that is the front runner to sign Cristiano Ronaldo from Saudi Arabia is Al Nasser, with some reporting it could be worth $200 million a season for two and a half seasons for Cristiano Ronaldo to play for Al Nasser. Our information is that at the moment that's the best offer on the table for Cristiano Ronaldo and everything on his future will be decided once the World Cup for Portugal is over. But it looks like it's, it's edging towards what Gary Cottrell was saying a couple of weeks ago, that Saudi Arabia looks likely to be his destination and who knows, it could be Al Nasser where Cristiano Ronaldo will be paying his football from January the 1st. Yeah, I was looking at that, Rudy Garcia in charge, but the backroom staff all pretty much Portuguese, so it'd be interesting to see whether he does indeed end up there. Yeah, it's a very interesting one, full stop anyway, isn't it? Because <laughs> the, the information we were getting from that interview when you read between the lines was almost that Cristiano Ronaldo didn't want to go to Saudi Arabia at the time and maybe stay in one of European football's top leagues mm. to continue competing with Lionel Messi when they come to Champions League records and, and other records. Because we do know as much as Cristiano Ronaldo wants to win trophies, individual records matter to him as well. Yeah. It's clear that if he was to go to Saudi Arabia, it would be a lot of money and he's likely to score a lot of goals out there as well, which would increase the number of career goals that he has. So let's see if this one does materialise, but it looks more and more likely now that Saudi Arabia is his destination and Al Nasser have the best offer on the table for him. All right. Thanks for now, Darms.